because your life goes by fast enough. Why not slow the pace with Mist Valley Gaming? Here's what happened on the last episode of Living Skyrim 3 Imperial Outcast. They're saying the Dark Brotherhood has been destroyed, wiped off the face of Tamriel. Oh, I don't think so. But that's not entirely true, is it? It, but uh, yeah. I fought worse than you. Oh, yeah, is that a ghost? Lost out in the wilderness is what's happening. Trying to avoid trouble, I'm just wandering from one trouble to the next. Um. Oh. Oh, there's all kinds of animals here. Oh, and there's a. Oh my. What the? What the? Yep. We've got some business to discuss. Thank you. Got a track for me? I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. Let's get a little crazy because gaming should be fun. My name is Dredd, and on behalf of Miss Valley Gaming, I welcome you to my series. Skyrim is a dangerous place. Perhaps no place in Skyrim is more dangerous than the one you choose to live in. Welcome to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. This is Gio Votrum. Although that's not the name she was born with. An outcast from Cyrodiil. Wanted there. Wanted dead. He has, against all odds, escaped more than once in her life. A swift death. has made her way across the border into Skyrim. She's only 18, but she's been on her own for several years, and she's had Still a hard here. life for the last eight years. What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? Oh, Nazir, I can handle everything you throw my way. Oh, Need wait. something? No, 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 Nazir. I don't, I don't mean it that way. Don't, don't look at me that way. I will Still cut here. you. What's the matter? I will cut you Can't and you will not like what it. I'm throwing your way? I'm going to move on now. You're just being rude. You know, I'm just going to go over here and sit on the throne. So there. I like this feeling sitting at a throne. I gotta, I gotta admit. Okay. So, Giga here has some stuff to get to. Does, indeed. Um. You know we uh. <laughs> we we definitely have a couple of contracts here. You know what? We're not necessarily in a hurry to do them. I mean, we've done our first one. We we've, we've gotten in with the Brotherhood. They 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 still don't have a lot of trust for us, but uh, they welcomed us in. 
and uh, creepy ways, but still they did. So, um, I could go back and investigate the paraglider, but I don't know. I could go do this as well, but um, I'm kind of curious. Kind of curious. How we would get this. We need a carrot, two things of butter, three raw rabbit legs, and two boiled cream treats. How would I go about getting that? Well, This way, and then we go down here. Me, I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. I am Shadow Scale, you see. Born under the sign of the Shadow. Hello? Oh, hi. The Shadow Scales are all but forgotten. An ancient tradition. From another time. Um, thanks. Uh, any advice on my current contract you give me? You must speak to that Moiri woman, correct? Moiri. I have heard rumors in Windhelm. She was recently implicated in a thievery, along with her lover. Boy, the lover will likely be your target. Remember that. If memory serves me correctly, he leads a group of bandits. So this may be rather interesting for you. Oh, that's, that sounds difficult. Uh, got any thoughts on the, the nut job over there and, the, and the, the creepy dead woman? Truthfully, I'm not entirely sure. It's not that I don't have the utmost respect for Sithis and the Night Mother and the ancient ways. I do. But I've never been much for religion. Me neither. I kill because it's what I've Character. been trained to do. It's all I know. So long as Astrid is happy, I'm happy. All right, thanks. Good Until enough. Until next time, sister. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Make you bleedy. Oh, oh. That's, uh... Astrid. Astrid, are you in your bedroom? Are you sleeping? I was going to ask if you're showering, but there's no shower here. That's weird. Can I, can I take the iron dagger? Oh, I thought that was a coin purse. It's an inkwell. Ah, you probably should take the crossbow. I don't want to use it, but I, I feel like we could definitely, uh... Definitely sell it somewhere. Go. Get out -y. Here we go. What time is it, by the way? Oh, it's nighttime. That's a wonderful time to be out and about. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's still raining pigs and rocks. Oh, man. And now it's dark as well. Wow. It was awesome, though. All right. Um, very, very dangerous moving around at nighttime. Definitely dangerous. No, I don't want to go to a bandit encampment. Thank you, anyways. If you're going to Falkreath and just wait through the night, that might be the smart thing to do. I'm not used to doing the smart thing, but it uh, might be a good idea. Just me running through the woods and nobody worry about it. I'm fine. 
with a horse and carriage. Oh, they're up there. Okay. Oh, they're gone. There's no guards and the gates are open. That's kind of sus. Just gonna say it. It's a little sus. Okay, before I go in there, what am I looking for? Boiled cream treat, rabbit legs, butter, and carrots. Maybe I'll get some of these. I can't believe we let provincials like you wander Skyrim. Again? Dude. Lady looks very yellow. Is there something I can help you with? Sure. <coughs> you don't sound so well. That's a question I have asked myself for weeks now. Am I all right? Will she be all right? Was it wrong to come here? Strange. All right, I'll, I'll bite. What's wrong? <sighs> I'm sick. I mean, it would be fine if it was just a cough, but... Oh, you poor dear. Oh, my body hurts so much I can barely walk. And <laughs> those are the good days. Yeah, I'll try a healing spell on you. That's kind of you, but there isn't a spell in the School of Restoration that's been able to cure me. I know now it's my destiny to die. Oh, that's very sad. That's why Archaea guided us here. Sorry to hear that, sweetie. Uh, that's why religion is dumb. How are you blessed? You're wrong. I believe this story will have a happy ending. I didn't always think so. There are times I knelt before the altar and wanted to scream at the gods. I wanted to blame them, curse them. But in the end, all I could do was weep. Henrietta, my baby girl. Bright, talented, and just enough of her father's courage to be brave without being fearless. She complains a lot, too, but I forgive her. Ah, uh, she must get that from you. Which part? Oh, I'll, I'll do this part. The bright and talented part, of course. And here I thought you were going to say the complaining part. Not that you'd be wrong, but it'd be sort of mean to say. Yep. Uh, what happened to her father? My husband passed away not too long ago. She reminds me so much of him. If she ever asked me what he was like, I would have told her to just look in the mirror. What about your husband? He was a gallant man, and my best friend. Some would say we knew each other better than we knew ourselves. When the Great War began, he was one of the first in our town to enlist in the Imperial Army. He despised the foul and so did I. When the White Gold Concordia was signed, he defected from the Legion to join the Red Guard forces as they pushed the elves back to Somerset Island. I supported me, Matt's decision. I, I told him to go to Glades, where the army and the soldiers most. That's where he met a girl in a small town by the Southern Peninsula. That beam! He said it meant nothing, but it changed everything. He betrayed my trust and the vow he made before Mara. But Mara, forgive me, I still loved him. That was the problem. But I also knew I couldn't stay in Hammerfell any longer. Oh, you're from Hammerfell. Nice. Uh, how come? There were too many memories. I couldn't look at the desert sands without thinking about the war. And I couldn't think about the war without thinking about that girl. So we moved back to Cyrodiil. Oh, Cyrodiil. To oh. Bruma. A place without sands or oceans. Uh, what happened after you moved to, uh... uh Bruma, was it? Sorry, I'm not all that familiar. Well, things finally began to slow down. It took some time to patch our relationship back together, but we made it work for 20 years. And in the meantime, I had Henrietta. 
And how did your husband die? An alchemist told him about a magical plant that grows only in the damp forests of Aelmwood. As a base agent, it could make a potion strong enough to cure any disease. Whether he found it or not, he promised to come back in a month's time for Henrietta's birthday. He never did. It's gonna become a quest? I tried to save you. It was a foolish thing. A romantic thing, but the two are often one and the same. What did he think would happen to Henrietta if he never came back? If not for the guidance of the Divines, I shudder to think of the consequences. Question your faith? Yes, believe it or not. When I was sure Henrietta was fast asleep, I'd crawl out into the forest and just let it all out. But all of that anger and hate left me the moment we came to Falkreath and met that sad couple. Here I was, feeling sorry for myself, yet my daughter is still alive. So the Divines were sending you a message. That's right. When I talked to Undara, I found out the girl they lost was about Henrietta's age. An Imperial girl like her mother. Oh, the Imperials. Mm. How can mm. that be a coincidence? How is that not the work of the I don't know Divines? much about Imperials, sorry. Oh, your daughter's being adopted? I believe she will. I have yet to broach the subject with them because their loss is so fresh. Or maybe part of me is just unwilling to let her go. But I've told Renil of my intentions. You staying at Falkreath? Yes, I plan to stay here with my daughter until our cave bid me leave. I've already arranged for a plot of land away from the trees where the stone face ceased. Sounds like a wonderful, wonderful place to uh, spend eternity. Thank you. It's funny, when they told me about the Grand Cemetery at Falkreath, I was so worried it might be too large. I feared Henrietta wouldn't be able to find my headstone. But when we got here, I was relieved. The graveyard is so cozy, and the priest is a kind man. He eats the dead, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Alright, yeah, you, uh, you sound ready. I am. I was afraid to die before, not knowing what would become of my daughter. I thought she would end up lost and alone, a child few people noticed and nobody wanted. Now my heart is filled with more trivial concerns, and I often forget how lucky I am to have them. What sort of concerns? I'm worried she'll forget me. She's just a child, and the memories she has now will soon be replaced. I know when she's older, she'll remember Indara as her real mother. It's wrong to think so, but it almost makes me jealous. I just want to be a part of her life, even when I'm gone. There's some necromancy that can do that. Uh, anything you can do to help her remember? Well, these last few days, I've tried to tell her all the little things. The stuff she won't understand until she's older. How to brush her hair. How to tell when a man lies. The perfect recipe for apple cabbage soup. I thought if I showed her all the little things, the big things would speak for themselves. She wouldn't have to wonder how much I loved her. Yet, when I talk to her now, all my words float by like, like dandelion clocks on the wind. You know, you made me hungry. I, I really want to try some of your, your apple cabbage soup. Do you have any available? Have you tried writing a, a letter that she could read in the future? By the divines. Why didn't I think of that? That's a wonderful idea. Thank you, stranger. Sure, no problem. I think Runil has a quill and paper he keeps for his journal. I'm going to get started right away. She dies before she writes it. I'm just going to start crying. if you don't mind... <laughs> I'd like to ask you a small favor. I know she'll be in good hands with Indara and Matthews, but if you could look in on her from time to time, make sure everything's all right, I'd appreciate it. Uh, Truly, the problem. Divines must have sent you to answer my prayers. Thank you again so much. Says I'm getting a new one. So I'll have two of you. Not a 
Come as you look. I don't like it here. There's too many bugs. <laughs> so Gia takes some time to uh, go outside and stand looking up at the rain. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet one. Washing the tears off her face. That was a most unexpected conversation. People, you do not get that kind of depth of conversation in Vanilla Skyrim. You do not. That was actually very intense. We've, uh, we've got a job to do. Find some, find some vittles. Or, uh, for Tembra White Arm. Eric, butter times two. Raw rabbit leg times three. Boiled cream treat times two. Uh. That's cool. You can ship stuff to the museum by putting them in there, right? Eh? That's neat. Alrighty. That was a most, most unexpected conversation. Just wow. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. Uh, what do you got for sale? Take a look. Okay, uh. I don't want to carry juice. Yeah, I want and I don't want cooked carrots, I want carrots. That's a no. I don't think there's anything here that's on our list. You hear any juice? No butter, no rabbit leg, no bullet treat. Town? Be sure to share it with me. I escaped fighting in Cyrodiil. That's only nice. To have Any track news or rumors? Here, take a look at this. Morning, the travelers. Any any more news or rumors? Here, take a look at this. Lost mother cave. Uh, looking for work. Got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Hey. Okay. Any rumors lately? Have you seen that Shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. I have not. Uh, okay. Um, I'll be right here if you need anything else. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They... There's plenty more where that came from. Just give a holler. Well, I wouldn't complain if we could... St sure thing. It's yours for a day. Yeah. I'll show right, you to your then. room. Yeah, it's over here where everybody hangs out. I know. the room the entire time, you two? Keepers. So, fortified sneak attacks for the bluffing of blessing of Sithis is still active. Okay. We um, need to go read some stuff. Insight into Conjuration. How nice. With the map marker. By order of Sid Gear, who all able bodied men and women of Bal Balkreath. The bandits located in Banner Mist Tower have been harassing, robbing, and attacking citizens and visitors. A reward will be offered to anyone who kills their leader. And yeah.
What's going on there? I, uh, things froze on me. Added some more uh, stuff we can craft, I think. What's, what's this? Frederick's journal. I finally finished the paraglider. I didn't have enough twine in the instructions called for, but this seems sturdy enough. I'm sure it'll last. Maybe I should have taken the other one I made. Being able to glide through the air like a hawk is such an amazing feeling. I do wonder if this trend will catch on. The merchant who sold me the instructions said they're certainly popular. Sure, leaving the high platform up on the Gerald Mountains should be okay. There's not much there to rob if a bandit were to find it. I can pick up some more construction materials around Falkreath before hiking back up past that big old keep. Ancient hunters, spriggans, and bears have been seen taking refuge in Moss Mother Cavern. Hunters should take extra care when entering the cave. Uh, to what may concern, there have been some rumors of a former blade living in a camp near Peakshade Tower. Recent reports have also told of Thalmor Justicars being slaughtered on the road to Falkreath. Anyone traveling near the old tower should proceed with caution. Alrighty. We're still doing this right now. Don't know if we can find any food in any place other than this, but we're gonna true search. What they say about you and and the Dark Brotherhood, is it? Not up already? Seriously, gonna have to murder her. I don't know if this guy's got Take any food or not. Around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. You any food? Let me know. I might have it stored away. Stop moving. Well met. Unlike my brother, don't care about your house, brother. That's sort of so thing. off. Nothing there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got stuff to sell. Wait a second, wait a second. Take a look. I got things to sell. I got stuff to sell you. Only bow? It's not my only bow. It is my only bow. Sell these two cloaks as well. Not too bad. Something with the hide. Sell those daggers. I'm gonna sell that one. That's weird. Okay. Later, dude. Steal anything from my shop and you'll rip. Can I get you something? Whoa! Hey, you stop following me, you weirdo. Look at that goat. As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. Now we got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. Uh-huh. Probably end up saving your life or something stupid. I don't think. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, oh. let me know. I might have it stored oh. away. Who's this guy? Maven's going to kill me. Ah, you scared me. For a second there, I thought you were a hired thug. Uh, is someone after you? Yes. Well, maybe. Let's just say I may have angered the wrong folks. Call upon me if I can be of any service. Do what I do. Kill them. Kill Maven Blackbriar? You might as well suggest I grow another tail. What would the Blackbriars want to kill you? I used to live in Riften and do odd jobs around town. 
One day I decided to ask Maven's daughter if she needs any help. It turns out she's an alchemist and needs someone to fetch her ingredients. Only the things she asked me to retrieve aren't worth the trouble. Giant's toes, daydream hmm. carts. How in oblivion yeah, I am I going that. to get those? Uh, Avon's daughter, while you're here gathering alchemy ingredients? Yeah, I thought maybe if I made it up to her somehow, she might forgive me. But who am I kidding? Ingen might not care, but Maven's another story. Uh, why not just decline the girl's request? That's the problem. I'm the one who'd asked her if she needed help. It's not just Ingen, either. I have a habit of trying to please everyone. And doing all this work was driving me mad. So what did you do to free yourself? I came up with this idea. I couldn't stop asking people for work. But what if they stopped accepting my requests? If I could burn that bridge, ruin it in such a way that Ingen would hate me forever, then I'd never feel tempted to ask her if she needed help. Dude, you need help. Uh, that's the most idiotic thing I've ever heard. Only because I decided to test this theory on a Blackbriar. If it was someone like Bowley, it would have worked. Uh, what did you do to burn the bridge? I wrote her a letter, but it still wasn't nasty enough. Then I met this really angry guy, Puck, in Windhelm. I just scribbled down everything he said. All I had to do was change the name. Oh, boy. Uh, this letter must have been incredibly nasty. Oh, it was. I didn't even know those words even existed. Oh, my God. Or could be used in that combination. It definitely did what it was supposed to. Are you serious? What happened to it? Gave it to a courier about a day ago. It wasn't until she left that I realized my mistake. I've been on pins and needles ever since. So, what if I track down the courier? Really? But what are you going to do? Once a letter's been handed to a courier, you can't take it back. Uh... I'd be very persuasive what I need to be. I don't know. That sounds like you're gonna kill her. But maybe just a good talker. I suppose I'll take any help at this point. A lot of travelers stop by Iverstead before going to Riften. Maybe you can head her off there. Oh, and I forgot to mention she's got blonde hair and blue eyes. I know that could describe anyone, but you don't see too many female couriers around here. So... Call upon me if I can be of any service. Oh, hey. Someone new? Perhaps someone looking for me to mix something up for them? What have you got for sale? Take a look. Any, uh, any food and drink? Wash an onion stew. Taking all that, and we're taking your ale as well. Okay. Um, that's a good price. I'm going to take one of those cure diseases. Um, hopefully it's helpful, but provoke heal, bring back health, weak potion of health. I'll sell you that one. Is your lab? Long as you clean up, you know how to use it, right? Mix a couple ingredients together, see what happens. Yep. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if it's you didn't know. Blister wart. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. All right, then. Yeah, wheat and blister work. Do we need wheat, lady? Don't let the shop's name frighten you. Take a look. Up here. 
back up here. Go back up here. Ingredients. Wheat. Really? Need one more. Right, blister then. board. What else do we need? Training intelligence? Falkreath's warriors always return, one way or another. as you like, please. Someone new? Per Take a look. Drain intelligence. Yeah. All right, then. Cancel. Let's steal it. Well, not a good idea. Okay, um, Iverstead was where I need to go for that other thing. Back this. Samuel, Iverstead's over there. Been there before? Can we just go there? Yes. Excellent. Fast traveling to Iverstead, we are. Because I can't afford to take the carriage there. I'm broke. For you. Ah, a fellow traveler. Have you come to Iverstead to climb the 10,000 steps? No. Uh, it's 7,000 steps. Ha, ah, you're right. My mistake. To be honest, it was more of a guess than anything. I never actually learned how many steps there are. In fact, I don't know much about the world outside Riften. You've been away from home. Ten long years, Pilgrim. I left the city to deliver a letter of all things, and I got a little lost along the way. Somehow, I don't think Paul Agnes is going to make it to the wedding. Female courier passed by here? A female courier? Why, yes. She was headed south to Honeystrand Cave. It seems she had to run in with the bear and dropped her satchel. I told her to forget about it, but she was a stubborn lass. She left not too long ago. If you hurry, you can get her. Hey. Cool. Where's that? Let's 
definitely to the south. This is definitely right. south. It's been saved yet, so let's do that. So here am I, Gia Patron, heading to the south to help a courier get her bag back from a bear, or just keeping the courier from getting the bag. ways of handling this come to think of it i'm telling you i heard how oh, tell me well don't want to know um home we got fury and we got healing okay we'll go with home have a level up available at some point too. How far away is this place? A little ways. On my uh, right. Yes, it's over this way, but I could be wrong. No, it definitely should be right over here. There. Wish I had some offensive spells. Oh god. Gonna die. Did I get it? Oh my. I don't know if that was the only bear. Really doubt it? Think again? And going in. Oh boy. Does not. <laughs> oh, we got problems here.
Run. 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 Well, we kept her. Doing anything. That part's good, but, um... I think we only, you know, made it through those four bears because she helped. That was insane. I do not have anything on here that's going to protect me from damage in any way, as far as mods go. So, you know, it's just... Skyrim 3. Self a bear. Don't believe I killed all these bears. Yeah. Thank you. Make it harder for her to be seen, right? That, that's my thought there. To make sure that wasn't trapped before he opened it. Oops. Insight gained, excellent. Let's um need note to Ingrid. I hope you die. I hope someone rips open your belly and shoves a hive of bees in that horker you call a stomach. Hope someone sews your mouth shut and pours hot fecal lava down your ears. Your face gets infected with boils and your children are born ugly. I hope you die, and if by chance you don't, I'm going to kill you myself, Bryce Bitten. Just killed like six bears. Time to get out of here. 
Da. Back to town. Okay. Mind us, we were just out collecting some flowers. Yes, that's that's what we're doing, collecting flowers. steal a horse, but buy a horse here? I don't think I can afford a horse. happening there. Okay. No blacksmith here or anywhere, is there? I don't think so. So, man, I did find the courier, and I did get the stuff back. Is the, am I, did I bug the quest by doing it incorrectly? I don't know. Deliver the letter. Okay. Um, let's go in here. Make it quick. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. <laughs> what the heck that is? What have you gotten here, buddy? Get distracted. Look at this stuff. Ooh, boiled cream treat. One. Two. Part way there. Let's go all. Air claw. All of those. Until next time. Let's see, I can read. No. All right, now we need to get from Iverstead back to um, Falkreath. That's going to be an issue because I don't think there's a horse and carriage here. I don't want to go to that mountain pass again. Ah, I can fast travel here? Excellent. That helps a lot. That helps a lot. Way too dangerous to be going through that road otherwise. Oof. Okay, I need to find that guy. He was in the uh Yeah, I know where he's at. I used to be an adventurer like 
I know where he's at. Over this way. Yeah, I go. Hopefully the guy's still in here. Everything's in order. Oh, all right. Thanks. He's not in here now. Where's he at? Right over here. He's in the dead man's drink. Yes. Look this goat. Thanks. Dude! Dude! Maven's going to kill me. You got it back? But that means I'm almost free to ask. Was she dead? Uh, rip the shreds, unfortunately. I'm sorry to hear that. But if she's already dead, I suppose I don't have to feel guilty about taking this letter back. Right, oh, dude. Here. These are some rare ingredients I was gathering as an apology to Ingen. I might as well give them to you instead. Thanks. Hey, draw heart. Shake, death belt. Nice. Nice, dude. They're in route. At some point, we should hire Tech Laon here. If she could just spend less time serving Dengen. XP. Ah, I wish I could afford to pay you both, Mari. I really do. Gonna sit back here for a minute. Uh, we... Hmm. We need to level up, don't we? Okay, we need some more magic, please. I had to level up twice. Interesting. Interesting. You know, before I go spend these, let's do some out instead. See if we can help raise some of our skills, get some points in them. I miss it. Oh, it's probably late, but I still might be able to do some stuff. Or you'll let me use your thing to do some stuff. I know we got this. We got a lot of pouches we could make, but I'm not going to do that right shoulder pad. Another vial. Wow, that's really interesting. Travel cloak hide. Go with that. I could use one of those. Very cool, very cool. I'll see if I can put some of these on. What have we got over here? We've got a backpack. We've got back and side right. 
Back side and front, right? Got front left. Back left. Still need a side left. Have a side left here at all? What do we want? make here. It's got the best value that I can. Longbow scope. You could make some leather armor. Beneath some leather armor, some northern leather armor. We make all three of these. Let's find out. Make a helmet. Gauntlets. Many of these can I upgrade? Any of them? Fire is leather. Okay. So I'm hoping that caused my uh, skill to go up. Something. I talked to Koos the other day, and he said my burial spot was different from the one Renil showed me. Well, I suppose as long as Henrietta knows which one's mommy, I'd hate for some old Nord Jarl to have to listen to her problems. All right, then. Okay. All right. Um. So let's try leveling up now. Hoping we up a little bit. Where is my smithing? 36, okay. So I want to get to Ebony Smithing at some point. So I would need to go to Dwarven Smithing. Not have enough. Right, we've already got I thought we already had this perk. No? Okay. That's going to require 30. We need to keep working on our smithing. We need to get some more uh, leather and upgrade those things. will certainly help. Yeah, sure. Because, believe it or not, even though we want to be a thiefy person and an assassin person, we still would like to uh, be wearing heavy armor at some point. Some nice ebony heavy armor. The modded stuff that's in, in, included in this. Now yeah, we're looking now, we got all kinds of different pouches. Good, looks good. We gotta put our cloak on. Oh, I forgot the cloak. I forgot the cloak. Put our cloak on. There's our cloak. So, oh, should definitely wear that. 
I don't have the shoulder pad on. Well, let's, uh, let's put that on. This is, oh, this is such a nice look. Wow. Got like a friggin' bandolier thing happening. Coming off the shoulder piece there. So awesome. I do wish there were ways to, uh, to dye the Dark Brotherhood outfit that we're wearing. Have different, so you could color it different, either different shades of red. I mean, I don't know if that's a bad shade, or you could like do a blue or do it whatever. That would be neat. But I tell you, I'm quite happy with this right now. Okay. Do we still have a room over here, or did we have to give that up? We're still good. Or is it just going to take 10 gold out of us when we're done? One of the two. Either way, we need the sleep. Says I'm getting a new mommy and daddy. So I'll have two of each now. That's great, kid. Happy to hear that. Should, uh... Probably. I heard the gourmet is hiding out somewhere in Skyrim. You know, there's plenty more where that came from. Just give a I holler. I really like your room. Can I say those words, girl? You know not what you speak. What? Exactly. Let's, uh, let's see about possibly buying a few, um, hides and stuff. But here long enough, perhaps. Hiding Steel's from, good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Den Gear first, and takes his mm. head on. blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. All right. Um, okay. Yes. Other. Others expensive. Other strips. More leather. Strips. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wanted to use that. Oh, Isabel. If you want to use this thing, you can sit on it and everything. Oh, darn it. Did I drink out of the water? No, probably not, eh? Come on, I want to go use that. Okay. There we 
we go. Only a hearty soul travels the road these days. The yep. finest weapons and armor. Or someone like me. I got it. Here, we'll, uh, we'll sell you that. Sell you that. Um. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Yep. All right. What do you got here for uh, more leather and stuff? You can sell it to me at better value? No. Rip. Good steel is worth every septum. Remember that. Feels good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to death. Mm. Trying to raise my smithing. Bubbles, that's all Pretty I'm doing. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's over here. I got my stuff. Oh, I sell you this as well. Give me those. That. Also have that. Fine, I'll sell you that too. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Uh huh. See me at my forge if you need Here. arms. Tell that to you. Or bleed, Skyrim. If bleeds are dry, looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Sure. So if you're looking at this and you're saying, uh, Dread, you're not really getting anywhere with this. No, I'm just raising my levels. What happened to the helmet? Oh, no. See ya. Could have a superior leather helmet here. Right there. Oh, it's the one I've been wearing. Got it. Out of curiosity, is it showing me what my smithing level's at now? Still at 36. Ugh, that's that's a top grind, people. Top grind. Okay. So we're still working on finding the ingredients for this uh, this lady. You need to find a carrot, butter, three rabbit legs, and another boiled cream tree. I also need to do some more contracts. And I do eventually want to try out this Khajiit will follow thing and go track down one of these four Khajiit. Um, probably Bikai, I think. Uh, not so successful heist in Ripton. Heading towards Darkwater Crossing. Or uh, out across Darkwater Crossing. I think I want to go try to find her at some point. But in the meantime, um, I think we're going to call it an episode right here. We're actually going to save this. 
And, but don't go anywhere because, coming up, as promised, the complete backstory for those of you who do not know it, for Gio, uh, Gio Votru, it will uh, let you know what her story is uh, before coming to Skyrim, how she ended up here. So stay tuned for that. Try not to judge Falkreath too harshly, visitor. The war has been hard on us. I'm sorry, I should really go now. Okay, bye-bye. And, uh, yeah. So stay tuned for that. It's coming right up. And uh, other than that, thank you for joining me and Gia here in uh, Living Skyrim 3 Imperial Outcast. And uh, we'll catch you next episode. Thank you. Magilia Petrosiris grew up among the working class in the province of Cyrodiil. Her parents owned a small farm, and their children learned to work hard. Magilia's older brother, Simus, died of sickness when she was five, leaving only her and her twin sister, Tanala. The two were twins, but looked nothing alike. When she was ten, drought hit the farm. Money was scarce and tough times became tougher. Her father joined the Imperial Army. Mother said it was just temporary, a way to earn enough money to help them keep the farm going. But even when she said it, her eyes told Majilia that her words were a lie. And sure enough, further tragedy struck the family, with news that her father had died during his early army training. The remaining family members lost their farm, Homeless, they moved into some thick woods, living in tents, and hunting, and sometimes begging, to survive. Magilia learned to roam far and wide, to steal from others so that she could eat. Mother died when the girls were still 16 years of age. Tanala stated that she was going to the big city to find a wealthy husband or die trying. Not knowing what else to do, a desperate Magilia Petrosiris lied about her age, and joined the army. The officer in charge of her training came from a wealthy family. He had never even fought in any battles before. One day she got caught in his quarters, attempting to steal some valuables. She escaped, but she hurt him badly when doing so. She was now on the run. At 17 years of age, she discovered some shady mercenaries former soldiers who all hated her former superior. They had a plan to steal from his superior and pin the blame on him. She joined them. The plan went well until the mercenaries killed both the officers and pinned the blame on Magilia. Due to their treachery, she was caught, given 30 lashes, and put in prison, awaiting her death. He fashioned a few lockpicks and a stone knife, escaped into the night. Imperial flyers were posted all over Cyrodiil with her name and face on them. She was no longer welcome in Cyrodiil and was to be killed on sight. A small convoy of soldiers on the way to the border of Skyrim found and captured her. They stripped her and chained her to the back of the wagon. While they threw stones and fruit at her and mocked her, she heard them say that they take her to the border, have their way with her there, and then hang her before collecting their reward. A skirmish broke out between some Nords, some Thalmor, and the Imperials just as they neared the border. Magilia was once again able to escape, grabbing a few clothes and some very small few pieces of armor for the dead and dying as she escaped in Skyrim. Just barely 18 years old, she now wanders a strange land, mainly avoiding human contact, hunting and stealing to survive. And she has taken for herself a new name. She now calls herself Gia Votrun. And this is where this story begins. <laughs>